What exactly works when it comes to liquids and in installing golf grips? Does acetone work? Does water work? Does mineral spirits work? Obviously solvent and air work, but not everyone has those two things. Well, today I'm gonna run the experiment so you don't have to. You know, will any of this be a complete disaster? How many of these grips will I ruin? Will each liquid have a different drying time? Is there a pro and a con there? Have I been wasting money on solvent my entire career? And it's like, okay, this is, just use this now. I honestly, again, don't know. So stick with me and let's find out together. Solvent. Let's start with solvent. For any good experiment, you've got to create a control and a good baseline. So I've installed a grip about 8 million times using solvent, so everything that you're going to see here in just a second is going to be very fast paced, but it is essentially a tutorial on how to install a grip. For the more in-depth version, I'm working on that, and that should be coming out in my next video. How much does it cost? So uh, a big tub of solvent like this was about 20 to 25 bucks uh, and then the sprayer obviously much less but this is like 15 17 18 bucks something like that <laughs> take to dry. It takes about 30 minutes or an hour to dry fully and feel really good about being able to play and swing with it. Acetone. I think acetone is going to be really similar to water in that it's it, it will work and it's going to go on because it's going to wet the tape enough, but I think it's going to be really, really difficult to put on. So not something that you're going to want to use all the time. Mineral spirits. I think mineral spirits is going to work as well, and I think it's going to be the one that works the closest to solvent. Um, if anything, it might just not dry as quickly as solvent would. <laughs> Actually, it worked really, really well. What does it cost? 
Mineral spirits cost about the same as everything else. It's in that same sort of range, that uh, 20 to $30. Water. I, th I think that water is going to work. I think it will. Um, I think that it's going to wet the tape and that'll be fine, but it's just going to be really hard to put on and you'll get it like halfway on and then you'll have to like wet it again and then you'll have to try again. Um, but I think that it will work. I think it'll be a passable substitute. <laughs> Does it work? No, it did not work whatsoever with the water. Uh, basically all the water just like beaded straight off of everything and didn't even wet the tape and I couldn't even get it on, so. Air, does it work? Of course it works. What does it cost? It has a $0 per use cost. <laughs> How long did it take to dry? The solvent takes anywhere between 30 minutes and an hour to dry. The mineral spirits was about the same, 30 minutes to an hour. It actually looked like it dried slightly faster than the solvent. And then the air was instant. As soon as that thing comes on, it, it's ready to go. So this is about half an hour of drying time for the grip tape. And so if I twist that, you see how I can get it to still twist in there. So. It hasn't totally settled. It's been like, again, 25 or 30 minutes. So still need a little bit more time there. This is the Mineral Spirits one. It's been maybe 15 or 20. That actually feels more dry, uh, but it still moves around a little bit and I can still manipulate it. Um, but then the air one that we just did, that puppy's on there, that's not moving. And I just put that on two seconds ago. Review, what worked and what didn't? So air obviously works, solvent obviously works, um, the mineral spirits worked really well, so that was a cool surprise. Water did not work at all, to my surprise, and also the acetone didn't work at all. So very surprising, but there was like not even a shot with water to, water or acetone. Like neither of those, they, they weren't going anywhere. So those aren't even like last resort options. My recommendations. By landslide, I would highly recommend that you install everything with air. You don't get the sticky residue on your hands from double-sided tape. Once you put the grip on, you can very easily and always readjust it if it looks crooked or whatever. If you want to take it off, it takes two seconds to take off and requires no other or additional tools. Um, it's just so, so much easier. You don't have to continuously buy something. You don't have to worry about staining your clothes and getting that stuff on your hands. It's just so much better. If I, again, have to give a second place, second place is going to go to solvent because it's just made for that. It's non-toxic. It's not quite as bad. If you're going to give this a shot, it was a really fun experiment. I would encourage you to try it for yourself. All the tools that you're going to need are linked in the description below, so go ahead and check those out. Uh, those are all affiliate links, so if you do purchase something on there, for the most part, you're really going to be helping me out and helping the channel grow. As always, if this is something that you would like to have done, but you don't want to try it for yourself, then go ahead and contact me and I'll knock it out for you. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.